want your time I just want your time Your time, oh, 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 time I need you Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. This is Canon Pixima TX3150. This printer is multifunctional printer. It's multi-tax 3-in-1 in the sense you can copy, scan, and print from this printer. I'm going to show you how to scan document with this printer. This printer now is connected to my mobile device. Okay, so what I want to do is if you just gonna bring the camera for you to see if you check inside this printer you will see the mobile device image and a4 and zero so this printer now is ready okay this button here is for you to cancel this button here is for you to copy and this button here is for you to copy color so you copy black with this copy color with this what you want to do is to show you how to scan a document this is the glass scanner for this printer to stick the document you want to scan on top of the scanner and close it now we want to do this using our mobile device okay so we go to our mobile device this printer is connected to with my mobile device via canon app okay so now we just need to go back to this printer and this printer is ready once you connect this printer it will show you ts 3100 series and we want to scan documents select scan okay now save to a folder select okay and you select a folder and it will take you to your mobile device for you to select folder so you select use this folder okay allow okay so now this is the scanner setting the document we want to scan you need to change the format use the setting to change the format as pdf jpj is usually for image so select the format as pdf and document type is document if it's photo then you select photo okay now the next we need to do is now document we want to scan we want to scan its color if you want to scan it grayscale which is black and white then you select grayscale we want to scan this color okay now document type is a4 if you are scanning any other document like card, air look, landscape, portrait, four by six, you need to select the document you are scanning. What we are scanning is A4, okay, is what we selected, and then you go back. Once you select all the sense, if you select all the scan setting, then you go back, then start scan. So now this document is scanning. Here we go. Very quick. This is the document we scan. Okay. To scan the second one, open it up. Remove this one. Stick the second document you want to scan face down. Close the scanner on your mobile device again. Select scan. It's going to scan the second page. And it's ready once you finish the next thing to do is if you scan all the document you want to scan you can keep on doing this as many documents you like once you finish click exit and the file save click ok the file is now this is the document we scan now if you want to share this document with somebody okay what you need to do is you need to select share image on the bottom you can you will see three dots now and the share button select the share now i give you option for you to share this document via email and any other or can print it out okay if you want to print it out let's say you select print okay click ok now click this time okay now do you want us 
do you want to use this the following printer yes okay so you ask you the printer you want to use so now select print all of them click ok now this is the printer settings okay if you want to print this document then you select how many copies you want to print okay and also the color image type so anything you want to do you just need to select how many copies paper size is a4 okay media type plain paper color if you want to print black and white then you select monochrome okay at the moment I want to print this in color okay then you go back and select print this document now is printing out colored This is the first one, the first document was So this is the second one this is the document will scan and it's quite clear this is the first one and from the mobile device it will tell you the printing start printing is completed click ok okay and now this document will scan i also want to sh show you if you want to send this document to somebody you can do so as well if you want to send this document okay to somebody what you need to do is you need to select next Do you want to delete this document? You can delete, select no. If you delete this, you can go back to scan the document again, or you go to the one you save on the file. Okay, I'm just gonna go show you the one you save on the file. The one I save on the file, go to my file. Okay, go to my file, open it up, go to the documents, and then you go. To the document so now these are the documents sometimes people say they can't find the document they save okay so this is the doc open it up this is the document okay a scan and save on my phone now if you want to share this send this document to somebody you can still do the send you just need to select the trade dot once you select the trade dot it gives you option for you to share okay you select the share button and also you select pdf file once you select pdf i give you option for you to send this document to somebody via email or any other platforms so i'm going to send this to my in inbox outlook so now this document is attaching to my inbox and is attached to my inbox this is the document i'm going to send it back to myself so you can send it the email address of the person you want to send this to okay i i've got my email then you need to write the subject okay and write the email you want to write and click send at the bottom you will see the blue okay blue line okay arrow for you to send click send and this document now is sent to my inbox what we need to do now is pretty much our job here is done so we have been able to scan this document printed it out likewise share if you want to find out this document what you need to do is then we need to go back to my inbox okay so go we're well, going back to my inbox and look for this document go to outlook so this is the outlook now we are waiting for the document okay sometimes you need to here here we go note to self click it open so this document i sent to myself download it okay pdf viewer okay offline or device pdf viewer This is the document 
okay we are viewing now from my inbox so this is how to scan your document with this printer print it out share to somebody via email if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it helps the channel thank you very much if you find this valuable this information if you find it value please consider to subscribe i know this can be a pain but i'm just trying to help people here okay if you're happy please let me know subscribe and share thank you very much indeed and peace hey guys this is canon pixima tx3150 i'm going to show you how to scan a document from your computer okay to this front canon printer to your computer is what i'm going to do just to show you how to scan a document you need to open up the scanner see the document you want to scan and close it then the next thing you need to do you need to go to canon image garden okay once you store the software for this printer the next thing you need to do is you go to canon open up the image garden okay and this is the canon image garden then you need to go to the scan select scan select scan once you select scan then you need to sell on top you need to select pdf if it's photo that you want to scan then you need to select photo so you need to select pdf document and once you select pdf document this document now is preparing to scan So now this document is scanned. If you want to scan the second one, what you need to do is open up the scanner, okay, and remove this document and stick on the second one, okay, close it. Now go to the image garden, okay, select scan again, select scan. So is what is doing now is scanning the second. And once you finish, the next thing to do is you select exit, exit, select exit, and document will scan will show up on the image garden. If you want to print it out, you select file, okay, select file on top to print. Select file. Once you select on it, then you go on top, select file, select print. then it will give you the option for you to select the specific printer okay scroll down and make sure you select the correct printer the usually the one that is available will highlight so that you make sure you select the correct printer then select print so now this document we scan is printing out from this printer here we go so the document we scan now is printing out from this printer i'm also going to show you how to send this document save it to your computer
okay so this is the document we scan and printed it out okay now what i want to show you is how to save this okay in the folder to save it you need to go to the file again on top select file now then you will see once you select file you scroll down to save select save and this document now you can select browse where you want to save it to your computer so i want to save this document in the document section okay click ok if you want to remember this document you can also type anything for you to remember it okay you can type your name just file name to remember it click save once you don't click save so now this document is save okay in the document section okay on, on this computer now if you want to you can also select this document select file okay we have show you how to print it out and exit now the other thing i want to show you so pretty much our job is done here if you want to send this document to somebody then you need to go to your email address so go to your email address and create new email and now the next thing you need to do is insert select insert file once you select inside the next is attach a file it will take you to the computer so you go to the documents where we save this document and look for the document we save okay sometimes you need to check particular date that you scan this document or the date you, you save the document so you just need to scroll down and check the date or you can type the date on top today's 10th okay so if you type today's date on top the document usually will show up so 10th okay you can see so once you put the date you can see the document okay so the easiest way to do this is once you type the date of the document you scan it will show up so this is a document will scan and now is attached to my inbox okay so the other thing you need to do is you need to remember to put the e email address of the person i want to send this back to myself okay so put the email address of the person then put the subject if there's any e message you want to send to the person then type the message then you click go on top of the yeah, on top okay of the computer on top of your email and click send so now this document is sent okay i send this to my inbox okay so the pretty much uh, the next thing to do is just need to wait okay to the inbox and this document will okay will be will arrive back to the inbox okay so this is how to scan your document just need to wait a little bit if you need to wait for some for a few minutes here we, for the here we go the document just arrived okay it just arrived inside my inbox click it open this is the document inside my inbox okay then you open it up scroll down to see the whole this is the first one and second one okay attached to my inbox so this is how to scan your document print it out or save it to the computer then go inside your inbox and attach it okay if you're happy with this process please do consider to subscribe it help the channel thank you very much indeed and stay